Hey guys, it is your coach Christy here and I want to walk you through my process for creating an event cover photo on PicMonkey. So I start out on Google, I type in a background that I want. So like this last one I just did was gold glitter background. So I literally go in here, go to images, I select one that I want and I save it. I have already done that so I'm going to go to PicMonkey now. Go to collage. I go into my backgrounds. I want this gold glitter one. Okay, and then you're going to go to the layout option. Select Facebook cover. I get rid of these extra boxes. I like it to be plain. I like the layout to be just the background. So you drag it in here. Then you select edit. Okay, we're good at that point. From this point, I always go in and um, I keep it simple. Do this pretty quickly. I don't waste a lot of time on it because there's so many other things that need my focus and my attention as a coach now. And you as well as moms and people that work other jobs, you don't want to waste a ton of time on this. So I'm going to make this kind of big. I always like to match the background of this in a way that I like with the background. Hmm. That one looks good. Okay. Oh, and I also like to fade that a little bit so you can still see the background. Then I go to text. I really love this coffee break text right now. Type in my group name, January Jumpstart. And I am going to make this really big. You want this to be eye catching. Um, people are going to be scrolling on their phones more than likely. So you want it to be something that they can read really well. Stands out very bold, but is not too busy. So I like it like that. And then I'm going to use another font to put with Christy Kip. Drag that down here. Make it bigger. Alright, and it's also very important to have your starting date, in my opinion at least. So I'll pick one of these, like the cloud. I'm going to put this kind of slightly angled over on the side. I'm going to match that second color to the background I already have. Then click on a text. Starts Monday, January 4th. I'm going to make that text match the background as well. Move it. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Oh no, I got it stuck behind there. That happens. <laughs> Move it back into place. Okay, I'm going to turn that. There we go. Okay, and then I'm going to click on the background here, duplicate the overlay, but I'm going to make it a little bit thinner. Here we go. I'm going to send it to the back. I have selected a quote that I like from good old kid president. The time to be awesome is now. So I'm going to put that in here. Thought that went well with the new year. The time to be awesome is now. Oops, forgot my quotation mark. Kid president. Oh, and I did it again. <laughs> Back in place. There we go. 
Okay, and then I'm going to expand this so it fits well at the bottom of my cover. Make it bigger. So you can read it. Okay. And I would probably leave it just like that. Very simple. Doesn't have to be anything fancy. Um, you can do the same thing in about five, ten minutes, guys. Don't need to waste a bunch of time on it. I hope that this is helpful for you. And if you have any other questions or anything, you know you can always send me a message. Talk to you guys later.